Have you ever thought about this? Who are you? In my opinion, we're people who are based on our personality, which is shaped by the influences that we receive. An example is if someone is a thief, they probably grew up in an environment where people would steal stuff and thought it was okay to do. On the other hand, if you're successful in life, you probably had hardworking family and friends around you. The point is, you can be influenced by anyone, good or bad. Hi, my name is Arshia Tanuja, and today I will tell you who influences me the most. When I first heard this topic, I started to think of all the people I know. Should I do my friends? Wait, my teachers influence me more. Maybe the internet? But then I thought of the basic life lessons and values and realized I learned them from my mom. Sounds cliche, huh? Wait till the end and you won't be disappointed. I remember when I would feel like a mouse being mocked by a cat. As every day in the cafeteria, I would open my lunchbox to an Indian meal and people would say, Ew, is that dog food? You're not seriously gonna eat that, are you? But who instilled me with confidence? My mom did. She said, be careful what you give your attention to as it increases in its nature. So the next day, when I walked into the cafeteria, I ate my meal and ignored all those hurtful comments. And soon, it just stopped. Another thing she insists on is karma. Our deeds, what goes around, comes around. An example is, one time we drove all the way to someone's house to give them a little holiday present because they were spending such a big and exciting holiday. <coughs> Alone and in misery. Can you believe that? But when we were feeling under the weather, they were the ones that came to our house and gave us some nice, hot, freshly cooked meal. Moving forward, if you just woke up and I ask you, what are you thankful for today so far? You'd probably say, oh, no, nothing much. I just woke up. Exactly. Isn't that a blessing in itself? Waking up every morning and not going into a forever sleep like Aurora did? My mom has taught me to be grateful for even the smallest of things because they truly are a blessing. Next, she's always telling me to work hard and give it my best. It doesn't matter if I top or I'm an average. And I should always be able to look back and say, I did my best and gave it all I had. And with this, my grades improved from a 40 to an 80. Another thing she said is to face my fear. I remember when I was a child, I used to be terrified of fall leaves. But my mom gathered a bunch of them for me and told me to play with them. They didn't look so scary. So, wee! I played with the fall leaves and turns out it was so fun. Thanks to her, I didn't have to be watching every move for the crunchiness of the fall leaves. And now I can enjoy the extraordinary fall without being terrified. Let me tell you a few things about myself. With being honest, I'm not very honest. I'm also quite judgmental. And sometimes, well, most of the times, my room is a mess and sometimes I don't finish my homework. But my mom comforts me and tells me, life isn't about being perfect, but embracing your imperfections and learning from your mistakes. 
So to conclude, there are two sides of the coin, the good influences and the not so good influences. So control what you can and influence what you should. Thank you.